Can the good guys <laughs> beat the villains it's again? It's not looking good right <laughs> yeah, now. Oh, it's brutal. Then, uh, I feel like it's 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 like a dagger to use this. Right? <laughs> oh my god! Hello Illumineers, Matthias and Charlie here for another gameplay match. And you ask it, and we've done it. What are we playing today, Charlie? We're playing princesses versus villains. We are very excited about this deck. I've been trying to, to start building towards that for a while. I think there's a lot of really good synergies, as you will see, as we show the decks on screen. Do you want to start with your deck, Charlie? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm playing the princess deck today. As the name might suggest, it is full of princesses. So uh, we have the nice synergy from Moana, who is going to let us ready our princess characters. We also have Cinderella in there, who will heal princesses. And we are going to be doing lots of healing to hopefully draw some cards off Rapunzel. How about you, Matthias? What's your deck? So I am playing the villains, as you can see on screen. Uh, in my case, it's actually, it works very well against the Princess of Synergy, so I'm excited about that. But the idea is a very controlled deck at the end of the day, with some Lady Tremains and uh, Madame Medusa. But the speciality behind this is the synergy between villains. So increasing my lore counter as I bring more villains into play. And finally playing with the Poison Apple item, which allows me to, if there is a Princess in play, I can banish the item to banish the Princess. Uh, you will see we are trying to keep it casual and budget, so obviously if you wanted to push that to another level, in Charlie's deck you introduce a little bit more of Rapunzel. Gifted with healing, yeah, maybe yours Maleficent, uh, and even Monstrous Dragon. Be prepared, be Monstrous prepared, Dragon yes, and so on, yes. but we're avoiding those cliches or those costs for the moment. Yes. Uh, should we get started? Yeah, let's yeah. see who's gonna start. So, a roll. That's so I have nine. Four. Oh, I guess I'll be starting. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually going to... I'm going to keep my whole hand. No way. Yeah. <laughs> really? Okay, I'm mulligan too. Okay, I'm going to ink uh, Jasmine, Queen of Agrabah. And then for one, I will play my first princess, Cinderella Ballroom Sensation. She's a 1-2 who quests for one. And she has the Singer 3 ability, which means she can count as a 3 to sing songs. And uh, yeah, pass turn. Sing, sang, song. Okay, so drawing a card for turn. And I will ink Felicia. And then for that one cost, I'm going to bring down the Queen, Regal Monarch. She's a 2 2 questing for one vanilla character. And that is done. Okay, so ready, set, draw. I will ink uh, the Dingle Hopper. And then for two, I will play. Rapunzel Sunshine. She's a one for quest for one, and I can exert her to remove up to two damage from chosen character. Uh, right now, I don't want any, I don't want you hitting Cinderella, so I'll just leave her as she is, and I'll pass turn. Okay. So ready, set, draw. Okay, I'm going to ink uh, the Queen of Hearts, the yellow one, Amber one, and then for two, I am bringing the big queen, so I'm shifting. Oh no! With the queen commanding presence. She can shift with two, she's a 4-3 questing for two, and her ability, what it does, uh, who is the fairest, whenever this character quests, I can choose an opposing character to remove four of their attack, and give to another chosen character plus four of their attack. Wow. Now I'm gonna sit back and wait, and that's that. Okay, ready, set, draw. I will ink uh, Aurora for three. I'm going to bring Ariel, Spectacular Singer. She's a 2-3 quest for one. Uh, she counts as a, a singer five, so she can sing five plus songs. And also when I play her, I will look at the top four cards of my deck and I may put a song into my hand and the rest go on the bottom in any order. So I'm going to uh, put Let It Go into my no. hand <laughs> and the rest go on the bottom. And... Uh, I think I'm just gonna pass. Okay, so ready, set, draw. I'm going to ink my Queen of Hearts. For three, I'm bringing Shere Khan. So he's a 3-3 three, three question for one. His ability don't insult my intelligence. Means that whenever one of your characters or my characters challenges another character, I straight away gain a lore. Oh, that's scary. Okay, I'm going to use the Queen to sing Thief and Ambition. I'll okay. do minus two to her and minus two to Cinderella. Okay. Um, so Thief of Ambition is a song, I use her to, to cast to cast it, and it deals 2 damage to my own character, and in exchange I can deal 2 damage to another chosen character. Mm. But I put herself very vulnerable at this stage, but that's okay, I'll take the blow and that's done. Okay, so ready, set, 
draw for turn. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to use three. I'm going to shift uh, into <laughs> Rapunzel Gifted Artist. She's a zero six, so she, do, she has no strength and uh, she quests for two. But whenever I remove one or more damage from one of my characters, I may draw a card. Uh, so I'm going to have her challenge the queen. She's not going to do anything to the queen, but she's going to take four damage. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm being crazy doing this. I'm going to have Ariel sing uh, heal what has been hurt, so I can remove up to three from a chosen character and then I draw a card. So I'm going to heal three from Rapunzel. I'll draw a card because of heal what has been hurt, and then I will draw another card because I removed a damage from a character. Uh, then I'm going to <coughs> ink Let It Go, and I'll use that right away Oops. to play Cinderella. And, um, and yeah, that will be turn. Okay. It's already I feel a little bit vulnerable right now. Sad. <laughs> Draw. So I'm going to eat Queen of Hearts. And then what I will do here, first of all, is I'll quest for two. And then I'm going to give, uh, is it three? Four. four? Four. So I'm going to give four attack to my Shere Khan. And I will remove four strength from, is only one character, right? From her. From Ariel. Then I'm going to go for Shere Khan, use it to banish okay. Rapunzel, which gains me one lore. Yes. Because I challenge. Then I'm going to use uh, two to bring LeFou. So LeFou is a two, two quest for one, but he has Fun the Flames. Whenever this character is ready, whenever this character plays, I can ready a chosen character. They cannot quest, but I can still challenge again. So I do that with Shere Khan. Then now I'm going to go for uh, Ariel. Yep. So you take no damage. I take no damage because of the difference. Wow. I get another lore. <laughs> um, and then... That is turn. Okay. Uh, that was and, I, and I lose this yes, now, right? Yes, exactly. So because it's just for my turn, I lose the so modifiers. Ready, set, draw. That was really uh, unfortunate for me. So I'm going to start by using all four to sing uh, to, yeah, sing the song How Far I'll Go. So I can look at look at the top two cards of my deck. I can put one into my hand and the other one into my inkwell face down and exerted. So these are the two I'm looking at. Um, so I think I'm going to put this one into the inkwell face down and exerted. I'm putting the other one into my hand. Yeah, actually, yeah. Might I'll have well. uh, Cinderella trade, so trade into the queen. Because she's a big thread now. We've got being able to give all those mud fires. Yeah. And yeah, that'll be turn. Okay. So ready, set, draw. Uh, okay, so I am going to ink uh, the queen, the baby queen. Okay. Then for three, I'm bringing the poison apple. Ooh. So the poison oh. apple is an item with the ability to take a bite. So I can, with the cost of one, I can banish this item to exert a chosen character. But if that chosen character is a princess, I just banish them straight away. And then I will just quest for two, and that's turn. Okay. That sucks for me with a, a deck full of princesses. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start by using two to play the only non-princess character in my deck. That is the Grand Duke, advisor to the king. He's a 2-2 two, two quest for one. But the reason he's in this deck is because my prince, princess, uh, king and queen characters get plus one strength. So he's going to buff my, uh, my princesses for me. I'm then going to use three uh, to play this song, Part of Your World, so I can return a character card from my discard to my hand. So... I'm going to take Ariel and then the singer, the singer yeah. yes, uh, and then that will be turn. Okay, so ready, set, draw. Okay, I will uh, quest for one, then I will use five to bring. Ratigan, very large mouse. Uh, he's a 3-3 three, three questing for two with the ability this is my kingdom. When you play this character, can exert chosen opposing character with three or less uh, attack? Strength? Strength, sorry. <laughs> uh, and then the chosen character, cho one of my characters can be ready by that, but he cannot quest at the end of the turn. Okay, so you're exerting the Grand Duke? Yeah, yeah. I'm readying this one. Ah, oh, it's brutal. And then I will uh, banish you okay. with Shere Khan. You do minus two to me. Yes. Uh, but I do earn a lore. Yeah. And then that is turn. Okay. Ready. Set. Draw. It's all this removal in your, yeah. in your deck. <laughs> it's 
just so interesting how he actually synergizes really well those cards. Yeah. I'll start by using three to play Ariel again. So I get to look at the top four cards of my deck and put a song into my hand. Wow, okay, I'll put uh, part of your world into my hand. I know Ariel's not long for this world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ink. Uh, I'm gonna ink another Aurora. For three, I will play part of your world to get the Grand Duke out of my discard pile. And uh, yeah, your turn. Can the good guys <laughs> beat the villains? It's at not the end looking of, good right now. The of, of the story. Uh, ready, set, draw. I feel like it's 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 like a dagger to use this <laughs> straight away. I might hold back for the bigger princess you might have. Okay, I'll, I'll hold back a little bit and I will quest for four. So one, two, three, four, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, that's time. Okay, so ready, set, draw. So I'm getting let to go. I think you're struggling for ink right now, so I don't think I want to give you any more if I can help it. I'll use two to play the Grand Duke. Uh, so that's going to give Ariel plus one. I'll have Ariel take out Shere Khan. I just need to get him off the board. I'll use one to play uh, Jasmine. Uh, she's a 1-2 quest for one. And when you play this character, I can remove up to one damage from chosen character of yours, but no one's damaged. I'm then going to use three uh, to sing uh, part of your world again. I'll get Ariel back. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and, uh, and then I'll pass. And actually, she's going to get plus sure. one as well. The pass turn? Uh, yes. Already yeah. set. Draw. Okay, so I'm going to ink the queen. She's a princess, right? Yep. So I could banish her here. I'm going to do that. Might as well use yep. the item. So I'm going to use the poison apple. Plus one law, right? Yeah, one ink. Plus one ink. That's yep. right. To get rid of Jasmine. Get rid of Jasmine. So. And then I will just quest for three, bringing me to 15. That's the. Okay, ready, set, draw. I don't really think I can stop you at this point, unfortunately. We'll start with this. I'll do three for Ariel. To look for another song. I'm gonna get uh, Heal What Has Been Hurt. The rest are going on the bottom. Uh, so then I'm going to ink uh, Heal What Has Been Hurt. I'll use all five to play Moana. She's a 1 6 uh, quest for three. And whenever this character quests, I may ready my other princess characters and they can't, can't quest for the rest of the turn. Um, I just need to slow you down, so I'll have uh, the Duke uh, trade into LeFou. LeFou and uh, that'll be the end of my turn. Okay, ready, set. Draw. Now I wish I was holding back the <laughs> <laughs> the apple. <laughs> well, first I'm gonna quest for two. Then I'm gonna hard cast a song that is the most diabolical scheme. So I can banish its chosen villain of mine to banish another chosen character. I'm gonna banish uh, her. Okay. And I will banish my radigan. So I have nothing on the board <laughs> now, and I can't do anything in this turn. So that's turn. Okay, ready. Set. I thought you would have taken out Moana, to be honest. I know, I'm but draw. I'm scared of you singing and singing and singing. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, all four. Oh, sorry, I'm going to use four of my ink to sing how far I'll go. So I get to look at one card. I uh, took two cards, one in my hand, one into the inkwell. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put that into the inkwell face down, exerted. I'm then going to use the other four to sing how far I'll go. Oh my god. The same thing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put. That one into the ink well, this one into my hand. Mm -hmm. And then I will quest uh, for three with uh, Moana, and that's turn. Look at all the Moana synergy. <laughs> so, ready, 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 set, draw. I hate what I have in my hand because I want to increase my lore. <laughs> okay, so for three, I'm bringing Sharkan. Again, okay. three, three, quest for one. Whenever it challenges another character, I gain one lore, and that's there. Okay, so quite a bit of ink now. You Let's might see. turn this game around. Let's see. So I have 10 ink. <laughs> so uh, ready, set, draw. I'm going to start with this. So I'm going to use 6 to play a Snow White uh, Well Wisher. She's a 3 5 quest for 2, and uh, she has the Wishes Come True ability. Whenever this character quests, you may return a character card from your discard to your hand. Oh, wow. Okay. Shia Khan's ability is only when he banishes. Oh, it's when uh, he whenever challenges. Whenever I challenge, but it w one of your characters challenge, so I have to be the challenger. You have to be the challenger. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in that case, I will pass there. Ready, set, draw. Okay, I'm going to wink the Queen of Hearts. I 
he'll probably defeat me if I go for it. I'm gonna sit back as well okay. on that turn. Okay. So ready, set, draw. Okay, so I'm gonna start. I'll quest with her for two. Because I quested with her, I can get a character card out of my discard and put it into my hand. The question is, who do we go for? I mean, I think, I think as always, it has to just be Ariel. I know, that's what I don't like. Uh, or do I go for the law? Do I go for the law or do I go for the songs? <laughs> I think I go for Ariel just because I can play her straight away. Yeah. Um, you said there's Princess Assemble here, like, <laughs> yeah. literally. So I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use three. So what does Moana does again? Uh, whenever this character quests, I can ready my ready. other princesses. Okay. So I'll play Ariel, look for a song. One, two, three. Let's see what you're doing there. Four. Oh, so I didn't get a song, unfortunately. Uh, so those are all going to have to go to the bottom. Quest with Moana. So she's going to give me three, puts me up to eight, which will allow me to mm. ready Snow White. Can you quest again or it doesn't allow? Uh, uh, they can't quest for the okay. rest of the turn. I'll use another six to play another Snow White. Oh my God! And then I'm gonna use this Snow White to sing Let It Go. So uh, I can put chosen character into the player's ink while face down and exerted. So let's get rid of Shere Khan. Okay, I'm in trouble now, guys. And then, uh, and yeah, that's true. I'm in trouble. <laughs> okay, I should have played more aggressively. <laughs> so Red is set draw. Okay, so I have, I was like, why do I have eight? <laughs> <laughs> do you win next round? Nine, mm, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, 14, 15, 16. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, I have to do that. So I'm gonna go with eight. Big Hades. And I'm gonna bring Big Hades, uh, King of the Olympus. Uh, I could have shift, but it's not there to be shifted at. Uh, it's a 6 7 quest for one, but its ability Sinister Plot allows me that this character gets an additional lower point for each other villain you have in play. I have no villains right now. <laughs> it would have been better before, but that's fair, and that's turn. Okay. So, ready, set. I Draw. think I'm done for. So I'm going to use three. I'll play Ariel. <laughs> I think we've seen this Ariel so many times. Uh, no songs this time, unfortunately. I will quest for five. Puts me up to 13. Uh, because I quested with those two, I get to put some characters back oh into my, my hand. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I am going to take... I'm going to take the Grand Duke as one of them. How much ink do I have? I want to make sure I have enough uh, so I can take a five cost. So I'm going to take uh, Rapunzel just because of the law. I will then play both of those. So the Duke for two. My God. Rapunzel for five. Uh, he is now giving all of them plus one, but I don't yeah. think we have enough counters. So we'll have to just remember. Yeah, they are plus one anyway. Okay, yeah, we know. Yeah. How many is it? Three or four? Uh, How many? Okay. All of them, We yeah. don't have enough. And then I'll quest with Moana for three. We'll put me on to 16. Bring it all back. Which allows me to ready them. And uh, yeah, I'll pass turn. Okay, so there is one way for me to win. It all depends on this you need card. To, you need two villains. I need two in villains. Play. I need two, two <laughs> villains in play that I can win. Can we do that? <laughs> Otherwise, I, I'm gone. And this match was insane. That was a crazy comeback. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah. I didn't. No, no. Oh, oh. oh no. Wait, let me see. Okay, first I'm going to use two. To bring Gaston, so that's my second villain. Okay. So that is giving me plus one here. So if I had another villain, I could finish the game. Good quest, yeah. Uh, I have another card. Uh, that wouldn't do anything because I can't do anything to Charlie. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that's game. I've got a quest for two. Okay. Bring me to 19. And that's my other two cards. So Hades is too expensive, he's a villain, but I couldn't bring him in because I don't have baby Hades. Oh, I only yeah. have four, five, six, yeah. so I'm missing by two. And I could not use this as an ink. Yeah. Oh, so that's the finish. Yeah. Let's finish. Oh, you want me to finish? <laughs> okay, so ready, I can't set, draw. I can't believe those princess. Yeah. But that's what happens. It's the classic, yeah. the villains were getting cocky because I thought, I have control, I can take my <laughs> apple in different pacing. And they won. I can't. Uh, I'm actually shocked to go from zero to, uh, <laughs> to 20. I just needed one more villain. <laughs> that was fun. That was really fun. I felt like I really had to think about it because there's so much synergy between the characters. Like, I wanted to try and get the healing off because uh, if I could heal with this Rapunzel on board, then I, I basically get lots of cards. So I think at the, at the start, I got a little bit cocky. I was like, I'm going to do that. But actually, I should have played a little bit more conservatively, taking yeah. out the queen rather than putting damage and exposing 
exposing my characters. But then in the end, yeah, this uh, yeah, I think it was Snow White. Snow White was she the MVP. Gave us so many and and, and the, um, that song, right? What is it? Uh, Parts of Your World. Yeah, it was crazy. Well. Just yeah, recycling, just yeah. recycling the aerial. I think the is, fact that you can uh, flip your characters and bring them back to to sing songs. No, with yeah. with, with yeah, Moana, yeah. it meant that I couldn't use Shere Khan to actually also get yes, damage. Yeah. Or sorry, just lore by, yeah. by challenging. And what do you think of your deck? I actually love it. I love it, and I think it's good. It's a good deck to play against your deck. Yeah, yeah. Out of that scenario, I don't know. I don't know how many princesses are. I mean, many cards are princesses, yeah, but this yeah. is literally, it's my deck, it's a strong deck against yes, yours, yeah, so it is yeah. fun. I did get very cocky, as I said. I did try <laughs> to be like playful and play with my cards. I should have done. I, I think that poison apple on that one cost Jasmine was the. I know, fall. I should have gone for one. I was like, I'll, I'll give you another chance. I have more poison apples that could be coming. Let's see this. Shark Khan, so he's a villain. Yeah. If I had gotten this card, I could have oh, yeah, that's one card oh, behind. Oh my gosh. But that was amazing. <laughs> that was uh, super fun. I hope you all enjoyed. As yes. always, we love the suggestions yeah. for those theme decks. Otherwise, we wouldn't be experimenting. So thanks for that. Anytime, just send us a message. Comment in this yeah. video what is the other bad, other decks you'd like to see. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and until next time, I think happy questing. Happy questing. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye.